you can monitor ECG using a 3-lead, a 5-lead, a 5-lead easy, a 6-lead, or a 10-lead electrode placement. After completing proper skin prep, attach the clips or snaps to the electrodes before placing them. Place the electrodes on the patient according to the lead placement you have chosen. Connect the patient cable to the ECG connector on the measurement server. The ECG waveform and numeric appear on the monitor display. This label indicates the patient is in non-paste mode, which is the default setting, and the setting for a patient without a pacemaker. When you monitor a patient with a pacemaker, you must choose paste mode. Never use the non-paste mode for paste patients. A closer look at the wave reveals some additional information. This bar signifies one millivolt. It allows you to easily note the voltages or amplitude of the ECG. This label indicates that the monitor is displaying lead two. If any of the displayed ECG waves are too small or clipped, you can change the size of one or all of the ECG waves on the screen. Select the wave segment you want to change. In the wave menu, select Size Up to increase wave size or Size Down to decrease the size. Or you can select Auto Size to let the monitor choose the optimal adjustment factor for all displayed ECG waves. You can change the lead to any of the available leads depending on the lead set you're using. The monitor uses the primary lead and, if configured to multi-lead, the secondary lead to compute heart rate and to analyze and detect cardiac arrhythmias, so it's important that the primary lead provides a good signal. Select the heart rate numeric to open the ECG setup menu. To adjust the QRS tone volume, select QRS volume and then select the appropriate volume from the pop-up list. The ECG filter setting defines how ECG waves are smoothed. A letter indicating the filter type appears beneath the lead label on the monitor display. To change the filter setting, select Filter and then select the desired setting. The filter setting is often used in the OR to remove electrocautery interference. In most ICU environments, the default is monitor, which minimizes movement artifact. And diagnostic is used when a clinician wants to view a virtually unfiltered ECG. If you want to use the easy 12 lead placement, you must enable it in the ECG setup menu. When using easy, be sure to use the easy lead placement. When Easy 12 lead is enabled, this label is shown beside the 1 millivolt calibration bar on the ECG wave, and Easy is marked on any recorder strips and printouts. The setup menu also lets you adjust high and low alarm limits for the measurement. 